Um, I was attracted to Islam by a brief contact that I had with a young boy. Sounds bad. Um, <laughs> I had a Somali student when I was at um, Victoria, and the students were required to do an assignment about consumption, which is what I teach. And he had his answer didn't fit into the parameters of the assignment really. So I had to call him in and say, well, you know, um, this doesn't really answer the question. And so he explained about the way that his family purchased, which was outside of the my <laughs> paradigms of thought entirely. Uh, and then of course after that I went to Japan. And when I went to Japan, there were a lot of um, Muslim students there. And there was an Islamic center, so I just started reading these books. M mainly probably to um, uh, sort of argue with people. I like a bit of argument. And um, also because in my class there was a whole lot of Filipinos who were Catholic. And then there were a few Muslims from different countries. And there was a bit of a uh, sort of a class rift. And because I was from here, I didn't know anything about Muslims or... Well, of course, I didn't really know anything about Catholics either, but I didn't realise that there were, you know, fighting between religious groups in different countries. And after I started reading, 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 then I thought, oh, yes, this is it. So I became a Muslim, alhamdulillah. Oh, being a woman in Islam is really good. I would say that I could definitely have been described as a feminist before I was a Muslim woman. Now I think the whole paradigm of feminism is way too limiting for women. So I say um, with more and more study of the position of women in Islam, um, it's uh, so much more and so much better than uh, feminism which is totally bounded by modernist logic. I think that Islamic sisterhood is what um, the feminist project wanted for women. Do you think that's controversial? <laughs> between um, the, the relationships between women in Islam and in an, uh, from an Islamic basis are very, very warm and supportive. Um, and in some, in some ways maybe um, sort of old-fashioned to us. Like, uh, you have Islamic uh, responsibilities as a Muslim in certain situations. Um, and um, women, I feel that women in Islam nurture each other and support each other very well, do everything they can for each other. And if there is a crisis of some kind, there's always somebody who can help you. Um, within the group of the sisters, there, you know, somebody can do everything. You know, there are, you know, nurses and typists and doctors and people who can paint and, you know, there, there is some, there is a sister for every job <laughs> and they will help you. So the solidarity between women is, um, you know, it's just, it's just another aspect of Islam that supports you as a member of a community and the wider community and your family and circles around circles, which is, you know, what Islam is. It's a very happy and fulfilling way of life. Muslim women wear their scarves because they are uh, obliged to, and they're obliged to by Allah, who is not a man, and certainly not anybody's husband, or a father or brother. And uh, I think actually the opposite is true, although I wouldn't use the term liberation, which I think too is a, is a loaded term in English.
one in the West is a loaded term. My um, consideration in wearing my scarf is only my, uh, as I call it, my vertical relationship, which is between me and the creator. I started wearing my uh, hijab uh, almost, probably within about a week of becoming a Muslim. Um, this is because I am sort of all or nothing-ish. And I thought, okay, if I'm going to make the big step of becoming Muslim, I need to know what I'm doing, I need to read all about it, and I need to live it. I need to live it as I learn it, I need to live it. And everything, I need to put it in, and I need to follow that. I have to do things completely, complete system. So I started wearing my um, scarf, and that was fine. I started off just... Um, I never had any sort of particularly small stuff, and I was never particularly stylish with it. No, I always, um, I always just wore it because um, I was required to wear it, and of the all the benefits of it. And when I um, started wearing my uh, hijab, I didn't know any Muslim women, so um, I was sort of organising myself by myself. And as I was living in Japan, I. And I didn't know, of course, I didn't know how to put it on or make it so that it didn't slide around my head. Or, and I had to order all my clothes on the internet because, I did, you know, I did, obviously in Japan it was a bit difficult for me to find things to meet the requirements and also fit me. Um, so, <laughs> so I ordered all these clothes from um, Kuwait on the internet and all these scarves and I ordered all these different things because I didn't know how to use any of them. So oh, and I got some tube thing and I got some, I was looking at all these things thinking, oh, okay, and oh, and I was thinking, oh, what if I need a wee book? But of course I didn't have a wee book. So I used to practice and I, and I, I'm sure that I looked like the mummy, you know, like a big bandage around my head and I had all these pins all over the place and I was thinking, oh, you know, I'm walking down the corridor and in Japan there's everywhere fluorescent light and sparkling away. I'm thinking, oh, look, hey, I'm Elizabeth Taylor. Yeah, well, anyway, so I started wearing my hijab and I really, I really do think that I look like someone who had a head injury, but um, I persevered and now I find that um, after I met some uh, Egyptian sisters in Japan, alhamdulillah, they all said to me, so did you, did you put that scarf on by yourself? I'm like, okay, I know I need help. So. They helped me a lot. So, you know, and they had different, st and some of them are quite stylish, you know, and they've got a bit up here, and, a bit, and I said, oh, you know, I just need a, a simple pin one. I, I'm never going to be, I've never been one of those blow dry the hair girls, and so I'm never going to be putting pins everywhere. I'm just going to be, yeah. So they helped me with that, and now my scarves don't slide around, so I'm, I'm fulfilling that. Um, the benefits of wearing it, I find, are um, huge. Um, especially, of course, in a context where people know what my clothing means. Um, but for myself, I find it very good. Um, I'm, uh, well, I mean, uh, it, oh, I suppose it's the same thing that everybody always says. People are forced to um, deal with me just as they find me, and they've got pretty few clues about how that is. So if I'm sitting on the bus, you know, reading my book, they might think, you know, oh, well, she's uh, very quiet, or I'm not quiet, or um, you know, any sort of ideas they have, they won't know, and they wouldn't know until they engaged with me. Well, maybe not even at the beginning of that, but um, they're forced to take me for what I show them. So if I am friendly to them, that's what they know. They can't really get much from looking at me, about me, except probably that I'm foreign, which I'm not. <laughs>